I am Heat Nation. What is going on? So in today's video, we got some Miami Heat news coming from NBA insiders. Reports are coming out pretty much saying that they expect the Miami Heat to put in calls for Dorian Finney-Smith and Royce O'Neal after the Terry Rosier trade. Now, before we do start today's video, if you guys are diehard Miami Heat fans and want to stay updated to all Miami Heat news, this is the perfect channel for y'all. Smash the subscribe button, turn on post notifications, drop a like and comment down of how do you feel about Dorian Finney-Smith and Royce O'Neal. Now, if you guys didn't know and live under a rock, Terry Rozier has officially been traded to the Miami Heat, and all we gave up was Kyle Lowry and a 2027 first-round pick. Now, there's obviously insiders believing that the Miami Heat are not done, and the Miami Heat have been struggling lately, currently 0-3 in their last three games, and offensively, they have been very, very bad. Now, personally, in my opinion, I think that Terry Rozier was the last move and the last big move the Miami Heat make, but... With the insiders pretty much saying, he says, along with everyone else in the playoff contention, I'm sure they'll be putting in phone calls to Brooklyn for guys like Dorian Finney-Smith and Royce O'Neal. Now, Finney-Smith and Royce O'Neal are known as being those 3 and D guys, like the glue guys, that can fit and play on any championship team. And that's the reason why the Brooklyn Nets are holding these guys off. And there was a report that came out a few weeks ago that they're looking to trade Dorian Finney-Smith, but only for two first-round picks. The Miami Heat physically can't do that. They could trade the 2030, but they cannot trade, you know, anything else after that. Now, would this be awesome? Of course it would be awesome. The only thing is, I think the only way this would happen, we would have to probably trade Caleb, we'll probably have to trade Jovic, and we probably have to trade that 2030 first-round pick. Something like that to match salaries because these players are on big contract, especially, you know, Dorian Finney-Smith. He makes about $13 million. And when we have players like Jimmy Butler, like a Terry Rozier, like a Bam, and like a Tyler who are already on big contract extension and stuff like that, there's aprons and we're going to go way over it. And Mickey is very, very cheap. So I want to get my hopes up of getting a player like Dorian Finney-Smith and Royce O'Neal. Would this be a perfect fit? Yes, we need bigger bodies and we need, you know, a 3 and D guy that can knock down the shot. When I do look at, you know, Dorian Finney-Smith's contract, his contract ends up in 2025-2026, which he does have a player option. Um, it's about $13 million salary. Now, for Dorian Finney-Smith this season, he's averaging 9 points a game, 40% from the field, 38% from the three-point line, 4.8 rebounds, 1.4 assists, and 0.7 steals. Personally, I'm not willing to give up two first-round picks for that. And Royce O'Neal is averaging seven points a game, 37% from the field, which is absolutely awful, 35% from the three-point line, 4.6 rebounds, and three assists. They are not playing their best basketball personally this season. We have seen them play a little bit better. My thing is, what are the Brooklyn Nets plan to do? They're 17-26. and 26. They're 11th in the Eastern Conference. Do they plan to get 10? Do they plan to make another move to continue to make this team you know, better. Because personally, in my opinion, I don't see them blowing it up. And that's the reason why I think they hold on to these players until the right deal happens. And the Miami Heat just don't have enough to, you know, pull this off. The Miami Heat has to worry about the bio market. But you guys let me know in the comment sections what you guys think about this whole situation. Anything can happen. You know, we made the Terry Rose Air move. So possibly if we could pull something off, hopefully it's this move right here. Because if we want to win a championship, we do need another big personally, in my opinion, but we'll see. Um, but I love you guys so much and I'm out. Peace.